Hello my soccer universe! I'm wearing Betis because in this video as we will see is one of the worst jerseys uh, of the entire season in there. So what better way to talk to wear a jersey that is one of the most talked about from the last season and honestly one that I probably would not have if it wasn't for a neat mystery exchange because I always thought I will get a Betis shirt that will be green and white stripes. No, I have this one and I think it is about as a uh, great as a Betis shirt uh, could ever be. We'll talk of course about Betis in this video too. Which again begs the question, how did I choose the teams in this video? Well, I took last season standings and I went 1, 2, 3, 4, 4, 3, 2, 1 and so on. And every team next with a 3 to it is in this video. And then I'm sorting them alphabetically and that means that in this video we actually start out with the biggest team in this video, which is of course FC Barcelona, where Nike, and I already said it, delivered the worst shirt of the season. I cannot tell you how much I detest this shirt from this side. I know where it's coming from. You want to kind of mix in the crest uh, with the blau grana colors, and then you add like a nice twist, a twist with having um, one side blue, the other one red, so kind of. Uh, have half look interspersed like this Barcelona shirt was back in the day. However, it was worn with dark pants. And I think I would be fine if it was just striping. I think that could be a great look. Not uh, fond of the ivory color numbers as well, because I think for Barcelona it really fits well if you have uh, yellow uh, numbers, even a yellow sponsor. I think uh, that they're now going uh, with so much white. I honestly am not a fan of that either, but so be it. However, the everything from Rakuten upward is just a one single mess. <laughs> I cannot say it any way dif dif differently. And you know, if you go full crest and put a crest on there and recolor it or whatever, but no, it just looks messy as can be. Absolute messy. I mean, uh, it, do, it literally doesn't make any sense to me. You know where I'm going with this one. Ah, I should mention that the shorts of this one. I think socks, they went away from the half half look, but the shorts, of course, are the uh, opposite. So um, the blue side matches up with the red part of the pants and, and, and so on, but also half half. And to make it even worse is uh, that such a look cannot be worn in the Champions League. So they have a dedicated Champions League jersey, which we will not be looking at. I will do this when I finally get to the Champions League uh, review, because this is where the jersey belongs. You know where I'm going with this. One single star. It's a jersey that I absolutely hate. Um, and to be honest, the away jersey doesn't do much better. I mean, there are some nice things about it. Uh, the iridescent crest is a nice touch. Problem is, you cannot wear it in Europe because UEFA doesn't allow it. So you have to wear it in Spain and then the swoosh. You know, there's something nice. Also, I do get that purple. It makes also sense because if you mix uh, blue and red, you get purple. However, uh, issuing a purple jersey is a problem because it doesn't uh, contrast enough with the home shirt. So you kind of decolorize it and then it's, you know, a shade of purple that actually still needs to go to school to see what a proper purple uh, looks like. I was pointing at the, uh, the lead shirt. Uh, it's just blah, it looks more gray than purple and uh, that doesn't uh, endear it to me. I think the nicest thing is one side red strap down, the other one uh, a blue strap down uh, to get a little bit of the blog colors in. But uh, Barcelona said this season is as bad as the team is. I'm gonna give this three stars because uh, it's just not Barcelona. And we'll move on to the next team, which is Betis, which also make kind of an experiment. You know, you don't have your classic uh, green and white stripe Betis. No, we have a, a huge V uh, or triangular cutout on there uh, where they fit the sponsor in, I think, which is uh, the same as uh, so with the fee network or whatever, um, which is totally odd. However, I give them the, you know, at least some credit that they uh, stuck with just green and white and then you have this upper shape in there. Of course, this triangle comes from the Betis crest. However, I feel 
to really make this work, you should have enlarged the Betis crest and put it on the center of the jersey and then have a sponsor uh, up here where the crest is. I think this is how uh, this jersey could have worked really, 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 really well. This way, to be honest, while I do like the green and white striping, uh, it just looks completely odd and very Barcelona-esque. Uh, Barcelona-esque, Barcelona-esque. I'll let you guys decide what's better. Barcelona-esque goes it rolls easier from the tag. So yeah, nah, uh, yeah. <laughs> three stars. <laughs> Uh, the away jersey keeps the triangular theme, but it's now in blue, which uh, for one side doesn't make sense, for the other side does not make sense. I mean, it, uh, to me, it's not too big of a contrast to the green shirt because, you know, the green on top is um, kind of a darker shade, but it is definitely distinct. Um, and I like overall the cut. I like that the cup um, um, logo is on the sides and not on the shoulders, you know, taking... Uh, page out of the book from Adidas and there is also a little bit green and white in there and to me blue and green is one of the most underused combinations in uh, the game. I actually would love a whole lot more uh, blue accent with green shirts uh, or teams that have that. Um, to me it's a little bit of an enigma why this never came about. I guess blue and red jerseys were the easiest to produce and so we never uh, striped jerseys so we never got into the um, blue and green. Except I think the Seattle Sounders are one team and Leeds United sometimes had something like that. But uh, as I said, underused. So for that, having a blue shirt with a little accent of green and then the full bet is crest, I think that makes uh, quite a statement. I also like that it says forever green on there on a blue jersey. <laughs> uh, it's funny, but I think this is a fun jersey uh, that I, I have no, no, no problem giving six uh, stars. However, then we have the third jersey and that one is a color that, yeah... I assume this was meant to uh, look golden. To me, it looks like poo colored more uh, with a little bit of green on top. I think when they did the play at Barcelona with this shirt, I, I, I somewhere saw this one and I thought, oh, this is not pretty. And what even makes it worse is this weird cutout here where the sleeves just uh, stop and then you have a very dark green. I think it may have worked with a bright. Nah, I don't know. You know, it, it is just very dark, very earthy, whatever. It, it doesn't strike me as anything appealing. Also gonna, I'm going to go two stars mainly down to the colors here. So yeah, I, I'm not starting well with this video. Uh, so let's go to go, go to a team that has at least a manufacturer that sometimes produces something great, which is Macron. And I gotta say, Levant, uh, Macron is the manufacturer, Levante is the team. I gotta say, Levante, again, the, uh, gets a very nice jersey that I wish Barcelona would have. That. If you if you ever were wondering how would a uh, Macron be as a Barcelona manufacturer, yeah, Levante is it. This is the perfect Barcelona jersey and in a way also therefore the perfect Levante jersey. I really like it. it has this kind of shadow striping in like the famous 92 kits for Barcelona. So I think it takes directly a reference to uh, this one in a way or to an earlier period. I think it's really well done. Uh, the color maybe is a little bit too flat but other than that I really cannot complain much. This is a great jersey and we're gonna go with nine here. For sure. Uh, the away jersey, uh, to me, it's always, always, always a little bit uh, boring if you go with uh, a purely black one, but I think here it works black uh, with a little bit of the blue and the um, red added on and the full color, color dress make it stand out. I wish maybe for a little bit more splash of color here or there. But I think it's a decent enough shirt uh, to also give this uh, six stars. But then uh, Levante loses me again with this, you know, I suppose it's golden and there are there is some pattering on there that I'm sure has some connection to the city. I think when Frankfurt did it with their uh, Saida uh, jersey, I could get it somehow for Levante. I think a yellow would look better, but then I have to say, Unlike Betis, this one looks a whole lot better. We have a full colored crest on there. The accents are in the club's color, so the identity is still there. Um, and also the gold looks more like gold and there's a patterning on there. So I'm actually willing to give this also um, not too bad of a grade. And we go six stars here. So Levante, Macron 
you can always kind of count on Macron to deliver. Macron sometimes messes it up, but not uh, so free frequently. I sometimes wish that the template was a little bit, you know, that they would go to more classic cockles. This one is again too Nike, uh, y, uh, too Adidas in a way. Speaking of Nike, they of course supply newly promoted Mallorca. And spoiler alert, all the kids have more or less the same um, the same template uh, 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 Nike templates. We have seen this template already when you watched my Austrian Bundesliga review with a lowly team called Admira. I gotta say it looks a little bit better with Mallorca. A teeny bit better because you have the Mallorca crest which is uh, much nicer but uh, the template doesn't get a whole lot better and I said it in a previous video when we talked about uh, I think Granada that I am a little bit intrigued by this organic looking sleeves but can't we just have it one color and not uh, you know, this is what makes it weird again it's not bad blah 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 and I'm gonna give this five stars but I would wish uh, that the Mallorca were back with Ambro where they got at least a little bit something different gotta say that the away jersey though uh, that is interesting I mean this is kind of this Nigeria look slanted not quite there but that is interesting this is more I know it's a template but you know full color color crest we have a little bit of this uh, this one I can get on board with this one I can get on board with. I actually think it looks nice. What would look maybe nice is if the color, I know it's gray because of the template, but um, if that was red maybe around or something like that, in the swoosh in red would look a little bit better. But as I said, I can get on board with this, this one. Is it exciting? Not necessarily, but there is something different there. So uh, six stars, I would say. And then the third kit, yeah, the same thing as the home church was in blue. However, you see that the... Uh, arms or the, 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 the sleeves are almost in the same color they don't look as detached from the rest of the jersey as they were in the home jersey so yeah it's blue it's Mallorca it's okay all colors fine 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 it's a template kit I'm gonna give five stars and we're out of here uh, no we're not quite out of here we have Osasuna of course left on our list Osasuna from Pamplona and again this will be another one that will be rather templatey so uh, you can see that the video will not um, get all that long um, I have to say this Adidas template is not bad and I think it, it delivers very well on the Osasuna brand I also have to say that the sponsor uh, there's a certain elegance to it very dial and then with the tilde over I think this looks all pretty nice and pretty decent um, uh, the you know stripes in the uh, secondary club color in the pants worn with that one so uh, I cannot fault them for for it it actually looks decent enough to, I and, and despite being so simple I'm very willing to give the seven stars to be honest. Uh, there is nothing wrong with them. Um, now the uh, alternate shirts, they are a little bit of a different kind. I mean, there is a lot of Adidas templates. The green one has something, but I, I think it was purely green. This fade effect there, and then you know it goes on, on the back, it's all the bright green. Um, and I think you also making the whole crest white lose a little bit because you have a navy, you could have left a navy in there. Well, so yeah, it's also a little bit too dark for my liking as an alternative, but I, th I guess it would work. Uh, I just find it a little bit odd. Uh, let's say five stars because I just just said blue and green is so underused. So let's go five stars and really leave all our ire and anger. We started on the bomb note, we'll end on the bomb note. Is this jersey uh, here, the third kit uh, in pink and light blue with this... Uh, rather odd template where the sleeves you know it does the similar same thing as, 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 it, as it did here on the torso before uh i think no i know that um sheriff tears the tears when chat champs is using the same but here to me the colors don't work go either pink and white i think that would work or take another kind a, a contrasting color uh not one that is kind of uh blah on there so i'm sorry it's not as bad as Barcelona, but nah, it, 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 it is almost there, you know, also, also with, with, with the slivers. But yeah, okay. It's also Sona, they have the template, they try something different, so two stars only. So we are done with what probably could well uh, turn out to be one of the worst videos, at least in the La Liga, 
uh, range, but also for overall, I can very well imagine that the overall grade here is not that great uh, and may, might be one of the worst ones uh, that I've ever done uh, in my review cycle this year. So yeah, we'll see about the whole thing. Um, once I take stock at the end. Uh, in any case, I would like to know which jerseys you liked in there. Uh, where do you disagree with me? And where do you agree with me? But I think a disagreement is usually the more interesting one. Uh, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these. And I will talk to you soon. Bye. Hey there. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you actually might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell so that you get updated whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day. Bye.